Hello guys! Today my goal is pretty darn simple. Also, hi Bryce. Uh, I will be a silly little goose and copy Bryce's idea. Yes, Bryce's idea. Haha. <laughs> and the idea is specifically to make a tutorial on how to be- I will not be using the exact same tactic as Bryce because Bryce's tactic made me like hurt. <laughs> but I will show you a fun little way to do the little story. Oh, it seems like Bryce is having a blast over here. So first thing you want to do is go over to the event chapter and press play. Y you will get 25 watermelon in popsicle for being this. So if you want that then, yeah, it's probably a great idea to go over here because popsicle is broken. I can show you that in practice later. So for now, we're in the chapter. I'm not I'm not going to spoil anything here, so I'll click no to the cutscenes. You know, just so that you get satisfaction when you do beat it. But yeah. Uh, one sec. Is that ever going to load? You know, I'll make it take longer to load. <laughs> Oh lord. Oh, there we go. Uh, no. I will not spoil anything for you guys. So, first off, it is technically optimal to place your first popsicle around... Yeah, here will do. Uh, you'll see why, but yeah. You could also place it on the inside, it shouldn't matter. But yeah, it takes a little bit longer to turn the corner, so... I do believe that this is optimal. You wanna be doing this for round two. Oh, also, there will be some high damage boys. So, you're going to probably wanna place your Ube. And for your ube, around here should do. It doesn't have to be exactly here, of course. And don't worry about taking damage. It's always okay to take damage. It's just gonna take a while. Yeah, don't don't even worry about taking damage. Bryce probably doesn't give a tutorial that deals damage or like has to take damage, but still it is absolutely fine. We're just gonna have a great time watching this one HP pizza fish. Watch the well, I don't know why there's not a skip feature for this. That like actually be amazing. But nope, I have to watch this one pizza fish go, and I can't really do anything about it. If you want, you can place cupcakes on the inside of these corners, too. Or maybe, like... Yeah, like, maybe here. Will probably be good. Because we're gonna have some good defense going here. A nice, strong defense. So, starting off, we want to do that. And we can place a cupcake... Say right here. And we can place another cupcake, say here. And with this we have a pretty sturdy defense. It doesn't have to be the sturdiest, of course. It just has to get the job done. Also, just so that this doesn't take forever, I'm gonna place this here. There. You're welcome. Now, we're gonna get some heavy hit hitters pretty early on. So, um, yeah. You're gonna wanna update this, or er, upgrade this popsicle pretty quickly. It doesn't matter which of the two you actually upgrade. You just should probably do it. Oh, also, uh, one thing, uh, set your popsicles to last. Uh, I forgot to do that. But it does help. Some to last. Uh, you can always set one to first, but it's highly not recommended 
to set all of them to last, and definitely not set all of them to first. That is a war crime right there. I should probably be focusing more on this. But yeah, as soon as you're ready, you can probably place like an Ube around here. It's not doing much bad. And that should sort of our defenses by a lot. Oh, and if you're curious, you can pl always place a second popsicle, or you can focus on him. I do recommend placing at least two popsicles, or just f like focusing on those two only. Don't spam popsicles. Although it does technically do more damage. We will put all our popsicles wherever we need. We only need two for land. But yeah, the rest can just be gamers. There we go. And now we're gonna have this Lime Seagull. This'll probably be fine. Don't worry, you can always place a second cupcake. Or a third. There's no shame in spamming cupcakes. Ta-da! And whenever you're done, feel free to just sell them and replace them as needed. You know, they're awesome, fun, and nice. We don't want to take too much damage, so I'm just going to minimize it slightly. There. Nice and minimized. So yeah, we don't want to focus on these too much. We want to be upgrading the big girls over here. So I do think that upgrading your cupcake is a brilliant idea for the start. Getting a cupcake or two to level three is never a bad idea. As a matter of fact, it's pretty much recommended. <laughs> I keep thinking that lost this first. Or a second. But yeah. Uh, with some basic defense, you'll definitely be able to do a lot of damage. And I keep forgetting not to sell. Once again, it's always okay to take damage. It's not like a war crime or anything. <sighs> it is kind of annoying to not get a flawless run, but it's fine. Also, there's not there's not just like one way to do this, by the way. You can do it a bunch of different ways. So, we're going to have to be able to kill those Lime Seagulls pretty nicely. So, for the sake of this, I'll place another one of these cupcakes and a map. Uh, work with him once. That should be just enough to get by. Because now we have these tanky little red ducks. They're not actually a threat at all. But yeah, they're nice. And now that we have a sturdy defense that will always save us, unless they don't, we can basically just chill back a little bit and enjoy. Of course, you do want to find a balance of some sort. As much as it stinks. Yeah. 
yeah. I think your Ube will actually help a lot with this, by the way. Just letting you know. Because debuffs are kind of overpowered. <laughs> Okay, here we go. There we go, we have a level 3 Ube. And as long as we can get these two to the max, we are basically safe for land. Because that's a sturdy defense. Honestly, you can probably get by with a little less, you know, damage to the base than me if you just, you know, do your thing. We're gonna focus on C for a little bit just to make sure that we're absolutely safe. We're already on wave 10, which is admittedly not very, very, um, you know, good. We can probably make do with level 3s. There we go, another one. And with this, we should have a decent history defense. We just need to be able to consistently kill these bread ducks. Which seems to be going well. With one level three. If we're able to consistently kill these bread ducks, then that is a good sign for us. I just want to upgrade this one to level 3 as well before, you know, wave 15, which is kind of dangerous. And there. All of these are actually pretty good targets except for Pepper. Pepper is just there to be there. It's just supposed to be a cheap cleanup tower, to my understanding. Of course, you can put a pine barrel down if you want some backup, which I might just do for fun. Oh, uh, also, reminder, put your ube on strong. It's just a generally acceptable thing. That makes you a little bit, if a little bit, uh, easier to defend. So we can just place a pine barrel over here. Don't worry, there's tons of time. And you are not in any danger yet. place a caviar at your own will. There we go. We have reinforcements. Always nice. We're gonna get our second pine barrel. So everything should actually be fine. We just need everything to be fine, that's actually all we need. 
There. We are safe. Yes, that looks bad. And it definitely is. But don't worry, we can always bolster our defenses. Here, watch this. We have more level 4 popsicles. And our land defense is safe. As you can see, this is just enough to get by. So, for the rest of the game, we're actually able to stay back and have a blast. We'll have some defense from Pine Barrel, being a gamer. I'll actually upgrade Pine Barrel once, just to make absolutely sure that nothing can basically enter a game really quickly. Oh, uh, I did kind of miss these guys, didn't I? It's fine, we've already killed one, I think. Yeah, that's not a very convincing sign. But trust me, everything's probably fine. Just up the defenses a little, and it should work. We're on wave 14 right now. Which is absolutely fine. Fabulous. Okay, good. This is actually kind of fine. So with this, we just have to wait for our defenses to get nice and cozy, and then we can be a gamer. Now of course this does not seem optimal at all, but we can definitely deal with this. Oh. Uh, sorry, I dropped something, and it hurt, but I'm okay. So yeah, I can scrape by with this kind of setup. Hardly anything's gonna actually cause damage. You can sell all your land units now. And now if you like get a good old caviar over here and upgrade them a few times, you don't have to max them out or anything. You can sell all your units that get passed. Get a good old Uwe here. That was a horrible placement. Won't do that. Get, you know, a good popsicle or two. Pray to the Pine Barrel Gods. Like, I'm not even kidding. Hope.
if everything goes right, then you should win. Even with some crappy setup like mine. Of course, it's probably not even optimal, but it does get the job done. Effectively. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my awful tutorial on how to be a gamer. Yeah, see you next time. You, also, just to note, you can you can just focus more on the uh, instead of placing Ube at all, you can literally just focus more on the popsicles. It'll do like the exact same thing, but better, probably. I don't remember my exact setup. If, if you want to see my exact setup, you can watch the stream. But yeah, uh, see so ya. Yeah, have a good one.